G'day everyone, hope you're well. So this has just been uh, re-released from Eddard, uh, the 148 Bell, uh, the X1. The, this boxing is the Mark Buster. So it's tooled, Eddard tooled it in 1997 and it's been boxed uh, five times since then, so not a lot. I thought it might have been a bit more popular, but maybe not. It is a significant part of aviation history. All right. Obviously there won't be a lot to it, being a small aircraft. So this is a profi pack, so you do get some extras in the goodies department. So you get the history of it, the aircraft, because one of the schemes I think is for uh, Chuck Jaeger. So your sprue trees. The uh, yeah, photo etch and some resin wheels mask set, which is probably a nice touch considering the windscreen in the aircraft. Uh, your color callouts are in uh, guns, so you got the uh, lacquer and uh, acrylic, so aqueous and Mr. Color, they call them. And a couple of callouts, also guns in there. Uh, metallic range which are quite nice paints yeah, all right so starting in the cockpit so a bit of that photo watch going to use in there uh, the usual removing plastic parts to replace with the photo watch so they highlight that with the red uh, a bit of a reminder from the Eddard Bunny to add some nose weight, although they don't tell you a uh, specific weight, so it'll be a bit of a tape that tape it together and get the old balance on your finger and work out how much you need. So straight away, once that fuselage is together, you're plugging in the wings and the stabilizers. Uh, the engine burner at the back is a photo etch piece and a map calling out your uh, mask set which particular window pane it's going into and interestingly coming back to the instrument panel for the cockpit so it's still working on the cockpit at this stage which it might be a case of that won't fit in when you sandwich the fuselage halves together, perhaps. Uh, nose gear, uh, door hatch to get in to the cockpit, and main gear. So, where was this? So, they got uh, weight on wheels molded into them, the resin pieces. So, as you can see, huge instruction call out already into the paint schemes. So this is uh, Chuck Yeager's aircraft. So this one's uh, 1947. Uh, I won't bore you with all the details. So, yep, all over orange. Uh, this one's from 1950. So this one's uh, Jack Ridley flying it. I actually quite like the scheme with the orange and the white. And then back to a all over orange again. Uh, Chalmers Goodland. Uh, Murick Dry Lake Base, April 46, so we're skipping around in timeline here, so this one was actually before this one. 
And the last one is a, a white skein, which is also a bit different. Uh, Robert Champagne, Edwards Air Force Base, 1949. Again, nice scheme in the white as well. So as usual with Profi packs, it's a matter of which uh, scheme do you like. Which is always my battle, picking one. I'll just start with these Williams. Always a winner in my book, Resin Wheels. Last set. Might be able to see the. Probably not. The cuts. Clear part. So I've never built a spinal, so I'm not. I hope that's a good fit. Nice and clear. No issues. Alright. Yeah, so you have three instrument panels there, depending on which one you're doing. Uh, the engine rear. And harnesses, very nice. Decals. I'll take still photos so you can see better, but they all look good. You'll see the options for the instrument panel and decals. Not that you would use them. Alright, a bit of styrene. Oh, it's very shiny. There's two variants in the stabilizers, so watch those instructions for which one you're doing. There's no rivet detail. Jeez, this must be one of the first ones out of the batch when they polished the moulds. I don't think I've ever seen a story in that shiny. Uh, wings are one piece, solid. Obviously the kit plastic wheels, two halves. They're not too bad, but yeah, obviously resin is a huge bonus upgrade. This is uh, one of those kits that comes around, goes around and disappears for a few years so I grabbed it while it was available again because who knows when it will come back. This is a, uh, like I said, it's a big part of aviation history. So I do hope to build this at some stage. I'm going to add some uh, still photos now. Thank you for watching.